AD second week in a row, uh, close at the end of one, tied tonight actually, then the game got away from you. What happened tonight out there? Um, we had a 17 point quarter. Uh, <clears throat> we came out in the third, and then we had some turnovers early. Capital lost some of them guys made shots. Uh, Harrison shot the ball well. Uh, they all really did from three. Um, you know, we had a tough shooting night. <coughs> um, I think, you know, the turnovers kind of hurt us and then off to rebound it. Uh, they kind of got a rebound. Uh, they resulted to the three most of the time. So, uh, you know, it's tough to. You know, <clears throat> it's already tough. You know, they're a good team. And, uh, you know, when we give them second chance points or turn the ball over and give them easy point in transition, um, you know, it just makes it a lot harder to beat them. I think it was nine offensive rebounds for them tonight. And uh, in the second half, particularly, Harrison got loose on, on a few of them from three. Was that bad caroms and, and you know, it, sometimes the ball's going to bounce the wrong way? Or it, it, there's something about – the way they attack the offensive glass, uh, you guys could have boxed out better or whatever. Um, <clears throat> have to look at it, but I know a couple. Um, I know one in particular when the last one that Simone has got kicked out to Harrison. Uh, <clears throat> I was boxing him out. I saw Brown was coming over the top to grab the rebound, but he thought I was going to get it. So neither one of us kind of jumped and he got it. Kicked it out to Harrison for three, but um, you know when they shoot you know, a lot of jumpers. Uh, it usually results in long rebounds um, around that um, free throw line area, and uh, you know, we can't stand and watch. Uh, we got to put a body on body and go get the ball. So uh, I'm not sure on all of them, but I have to uh, go back and look and kind of see, um, you know, what happened on those. Anthony, uh, what's your thoughts about you know <coughs> Demontis? Uh, we all know that he's a physical player out there, but when you out there. Battling with him, what, what, is, what is it like, especially in a game like this? I mean, it was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a physical player. Uh, you know, just try to you know, match his physicality, um, make him tough, take a lot of tough shots. Uh, I think he just hurt us on the glass. I mean, not defensively. I mean, we missed a, a lot of shots. You know, he's only big, so he's going to get a lot of defensive rebounds. But offensively, is uh, where we try to limit. Um, <clears throat> Offensively for us, I mean, offensive for them when he get an offensive rebounds. Um, you know, we got to limit that, but, uh, you know, he's an all-star, uh, been an all-star, so um, you know, he's a good player. Is there something psychologically, I mean, Darwin talked about how you guys were able to because of the schedule, and you were able to put a lot into this game, right, in terms of prep and practice, you know, shoot around. Um, is there something psychologically frustrating about I mean, giving a team that you struggle with like a real good shot and then – Kind of turning out the way it turned out tonight. I mean, it's frustrating, you know, especially the last two games. Uh, you know, we have a terrible second quarter uh, at our place, and that was that was the um, the game right there, turning point for the game um, tonight. Uh, I think it might have been third quarter, 17 points. Um, so just came out of halftime, put put the ball in the basket, and then you know, tough turnovers, especially to start the third. Um, we got some easy looks, so. Uh, <clears throat> to be down four, I think it went to like 12, something like that, you know, pretty quickly. So, um, you know, just got to come out of half, uh, ready to go. Um, you know, we all struggled from the field, uh, me, Brian Depo, uh, particularly me, easy shots around the basket, especially in the first half. Um, but, uh, you know, fall back and then, you know, you know, hit another, you know, big three. And, uh, you know, when you're down, like I said, you you're, you don't want to give a team like this um, <clears throat> any more extra points. You know, they want to score the basketball, uh, but when we give you know the extra points off off the rebound, the turnovers is it's a lot tougher just to beat. Do you see any trends with the with the defensive breakdowns that led to their threes? Some of the, I mean, they had some wide open ones. Um, I think it was uh, miscommunication. I know some uh, we we're. Over helping, trying to help, and you know they're drive kick team. Um, they can get to the paint. They try to spray out to their shooters. Um, and they did a good job of making shots tonight. Uh, I think we did a good job of protecting the paint. Um, it was just an outside shot that beat us tonight. So you know, trying to help our guys obviously guard De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. You know, they can get downhill. So 
trying to help them, um, help our guys, you know, protect them from getting downhill, and they did a good job of spraying out. Last two. AD, uh, generally speaking, when you know you and LeBron are healthy and you guys, you know, have really going to a game with the prop, you've been able to get wins this year, even against most of the best teams in the league, maybe with the exception of Denver. Is there any, you know, additional frustration or cause for, you know, concern by having a game like this against a team uh, that you feel like you could beat and when, when you don't? Um, I mean, any loss is frustrating. Uh, like I said, especially when you um, allow a team to beat you because of your mistakes. Um, like I said, our turnovers, um, offensive rebounds, things like that. Uh, miscues on defense, communication, uh, defense is, you know, we allow a team to, to beat us, you know, instead of playing the right way. And if they make shots and they beat us, you know, pass off to them. But, um, you know, we can't allow a team to beat us and because you don't know what works, you know. So, uh, you know, I think any loss like that is, is definitely frustrating. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>